Question 1. What is Ubuntu? Answer. Ubuntu is a computer operating system based on the Debian Linux distribution and distributed as free and open source software using its own desktop environment. It is named after the Southern African philosophy of Ubuntu, humanity towards others. Ubuntu is designed primarily for use on personal computers, although a server edition also exists. Question 2. Is there a company behind Ubuntu? Canonical is the company behind Ubuntu? Answer. We work with the open source community to deliver Ubuntu. Our related enterprise services are also used by businesses and large enterprises worldwide to reduce costs and improve efficiency. We also work with hardware manufacturers like HP, Dell, ARM and Intel, along with a range of external agencies and suppliers to ensure the work we're doing on product and brand development reaches the audiences it deserves in business and in retail. We've come a long way since our launch in 2004. We now have over 600 staff in more than 30 countries and offices in London, Boston, Taipei, Montreal, and Shanghai. Question 3. How to enable root login in Ubuntu 12.04? Answer. Login as normal user and enter below command in the terminal hash sudo shc echo greeter show manual login equals true slash etc slash light dm slash light dm dot conference. Question 4. How do I reset my Unity configuration? Answer. The simplest way to do this is to hit open a terminal or hit alt f2 and run the command hash unity reset. Question 5. How is Ubuntu not affected by viruses? Answer. Almost all viruses and malware are coded to take advantage of weaknesses in Windows. They simply won't run on Ubuntu, immediately decimating the amount of time, resource and expense you invest in protecting your desktops, not to mention cleaning them up if something nasty does strike. For a more detailed answer, we'd recommend this article. It goes through some interesting facts on why Linux in general is more secure than Windows. Question 6. If Ubuntu is free, what's in Ubuntu Advantage? Answer. Ubuntu Advantage is canonical enterprise services offering. It includes our systems management tool, landscape, and support access to the canonical support services team to help enterprises make the most of their Ubuntu experience. This offering was specifically designed to make your IT more efficient and reduce costs for large deployments. Question 7. How do I know if my video card can run Unity? Answer. Slash USR slash lib slash NUX slash Unity underscore support underscore test P which should give you some detailed output about Unity's requirements and if they are met. For example, OpenGL vendor string, NVIDIA corporation, OpenGL renderer string, GE46600 GT slash PCISC2 slash 3D NOW, OpenGL version string 2.1 1.2 NVIDIA 270.30 not software rendered yes not blacklisted yes GLX FB config yes GLX texture from Pixmap Yes. GL import or rec textures? Yes. GL vertex program? Yes. GL fragment program? Yes. GL vertex buffer object? Yes. GL frame buffer object? Yes. GL version is 1.4 plus? Yes. Unity supported? Yes. Question 8. What's the largest desktop migration to Ubuntu so far? Answer. 85000 desktops large on Darmory National, part of the French police force, faced growing IT infrastructure costs and decided to review its existing Microsoft-based environment. After switching from Microsoft Office to OpenOffice.org and from Internet Explorer to Firefox, the police force decided to upgrade 85,000 desktop PCs to Ubuntu, removing its reliance on the Microsoft operating system almost completely, as well as simplifying maintenance and improving ease of use, Ubuntu is saving the police force 2 million euros a year in license fees alone by repurposing 4,500 machines to act as local servers. It has also dramatically reduced its hardware expenditure. The police force's IT team tested a number of operating systems but found Ubuntu to be the best fit for the organization. Question 9. How can I create launchers on my desktop? Answer. 
The old GUI dialog is still available if you still want to use this. Using Alt plus F2 type GNOME desktop item edit create new slash desktop. This will launch the old GUI dialog and create a launcher on your desktop. Take the image from http colon slash slash askubuntu.com slash questions slash 64222 slash how can I create launchers on my desktop. GNOME desktop item edit is installed automatically if you have installed GNOME shell slash GNOME fallback. It it is also installed automatically if you have previously installed GNOME Tweak Tool. Alternatively, you can install the old GNOME panel without much of the bulk. Sudo app get install no install recommends GNOME panel. Question 10. How can I run Unity in a virtual machine? Answer. Install the virtual box and in virtual box greater than equals 4.0 Unity is supported and runs nice when guest additions are installed. X server 1.10 from 11.04 is supported in virtual box greater than equals 4.0.6 when guest additions are installed. Question 11. How do we do compliance for Ubuntu? Answer. As any IT manager knows compliance is about more than reporting. It starts with the implementation of compliance policies and processes. The latest version of Landscape Canonical Systems Management Tool introduces extensive access control extensions, enabling you to implement the access policies you need. Roles such as Auditor with read access to everything but write access to nothing or Security Analyst with authentication to execute scripts but not modify them or create new ones can be defined right up to the restriction free full administrator level fine-grained control over these credentials is provided with a default configuration included to ensure that these features can be used without customization meanwhile CIOs will appreciate the ability to define independent security administrator roles when needed Question 12. What's Canonical's role in OpenStack? Answer. Ubuntu is the reference operating system for OpenStack, the world's number one open source cloud infrastructure platform. The relationship between Ubuntu and OpenStack is a deep one. The release schedules of the two projects are synchronized, ensuring that OpenStack updates and releases are immediately available on widely deployed releases of Ubuntu. But most important is Ubuntu's status as the reference OS. This means Ubuntu is the preferred base operating system, the one that most developers of OpenStack use every day. No other operating system is as therefore as tightly integrated with OpenStack or as stringent tested with the cloud software. In short, if you want to run OpenStack and if you're interested in open cloud infrastructure, you definitely should be. Then the best advice is to do soon Ubuntu. Question 13. Why is Ubuntu the most popular operating system for cloud? Answer. Large enterprises such as HP, Microsoft, Rackspace, IBM and DreamHost provide Ubuntu images in their public cloud infrastructure or run it for their own private and public clouds. Ubuntu is the number one operating system on Amazon Web Services and has been closely involved with OpenStack since the very beginning of the project. We can therefore provide engineering, consultancy and support expertise to to help with any cloud project. Whether you want to run your services on a major public cloud, OpenStack based or otherwise, or build private cloud infrastructure on your own hardware. Question 14. Can Ubuntu be integrated with Microsoft infrastructure? Answer. Yes it can. You can do the work yourself, or you can work with canonical consultants. Another solution would be to use a third-party technology designed to do just this. You can either migrate your MS servers to Ubuntu-based products such as Intel Enterprise Edition or connect your Ubuntu environment to your legacy Microsoft infrastructure using products like Centrify. Question 15. What does Ubuntu mean? Answer. Ubuntu is an ancient African word meaning humanity to others. It can also be interpreted as I am what I am because of who we all are. The Ubuntu operating system brings the spirit of Ubuntu to the world of computing. And one last extra question for the road. 